A rocket mass heater heats a home with one-tenth the wood. This is due to a more efficient burn and less heat going out the roof. But there's a trade-off. On a normal winter day, the mass will be much warmer than the outside air. So even without a fire, there'll be a bit of a draw. Everything will burn the way we need it to burn. If we try to start a fire when the temperature outside is warmer than the mass, we will get a cold plug. As the fire starts, the fire is hot. Then we extract nearly all of the heat until the resulting exhaust is about room temperature. The exhaust does not rise. Cold plug. Smoke will then come out of the wood feed instead of exhaust going out the roof. For a home, this almost never happens. For the first burn of the year, the outside temperature is likely about 20 degrees colder than the inside temperature. No problem. A cold plug is if somebody wants to do a rocket mass heater fire demonstration in the middle of summer, just to show how it works. And they'll probably be surprised that it fails so miserably during the demonstration. For an outbuilding or a building that's allowed to get cold, the operator will most likely get a cold plug every time the fire is started. In other words, if the outdoor temperature is at least 15 degrees colder than the indoor temperature, there probably won't be a problem. Otherwise, we will need to take steps to prevent it. And if we're building a rocket heater where we know there will be a cold plug for nearly every start, we need our design to mitigate that. I know of four things that can mitigate a cold plug problem. Make the whole system less efficient so more heat goes up at the start. Make the vertical exhaust kiss the barrel to put more heat into the vertical exhaust when there is a fire, permitting more of a plug when there is not a fire. Make a spot to prime the vertical exhaust. Make a sign with starting instructions for a cold start which mentions priming the vertical exhaust and triple priming the riser. 